Hockey season is just around the corner, but this year it's not clear when players will be back on the ice. Joining us this morning is Sherry French with her daughter, Annika, with some ways to keep you on your game at home. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Thanks for having us. But yes, Annika is one of the many kids that are not on the ice in Michigan right now. So what I've got some great hacks while the kids are at home to make it fun. So let's first start talking about stick handling. So stick handling as moms, we usually go by that ball and our kids lose it. You can make your at home one using just a golf ball and some hockey tape. And you're just going to wrap the hockey tape around the ball. But what I love about it, depending on the level of player in your home, you can have just the golf ball, which is super fast and bouncy. And the more tape you put on, like this one, will make it slower. So even the learners can learn about stick handling as well as your experts in the home. So as they get better, take the tape off and get back to that original golf ball. And we're looking at some video right now that you had sent us in, some with the skateboard, some it looks like you're cleaning a dry erase board. What, what are we seeing here? Yeah, so this, the skateboard, once you've got that stick handling ball made, you do not need to buy anything, but you want to get your kids practicing their stick handling. Old school skateboard. Annika's actually stick handling under one now, so you want them to get better and improve. And then when you move away from the stick handling ball and we're going to start to shoot on net, all you need is the stick, the stick handling or the shooting mat and some car wax. This is a great hack to make those pucks move better when you're ready to start shooting on the net, which we're gonna have Amica do next. So target practice. We've done our stick handling. We're moving on shooting pucks. You also do not need to buy any target. Use things from your home. So Annika and I actually made this net with target using pool noodles, car chamois, water balloons, inflatables. I'm even using some scouring pads from my kitchen. So make target practice fun. And we'll have Annika, who is a goalie, by the way, so her target practice is limited. But again, we want our kids to keep practicing, but also have fun doing it. And this is a great way to do it. And how important is it to keep these skills sharp? I mean, you know, sometimes, it, you know, you think it might be riding a bike or it could be you have to keep practicing to make sure you just become a better player. Yeah, absolutely. And especially with the kids not being on the ice, we want to keep them obviously active. And while we're waiting for that season to start, keep them at home always moving. And so what, what, it, what is going on with Annika right now in terms of her skill level? Tell, tell me a little bit about Annika, she said she's a goalie. And so tell me yeah, some so other things that she's doing to, to you know, keep her skills sharp. Yeah, so she does a lot of different things. She's obviously not shooting on the net, but she does a lot of power things. So a lot of more off ice conditioning, a lot of balls on the wall to practice too, if you're a goalie. All right, and so what advice do you have for parents who are thinking about getting their children started in hockey this year? Well, again, it's a scary time for all of us, but we know the ranks will be open and most importantly, they will be safe. So again, we want young kids to start, even the little ones. We don't want them to miss out on this year. So just watch at your local association once those ice ranks open and get even the youngest kids on the ice. Because again, at the end of the day, hockey is about friends and learning and you know all of those fun things in life. It's always not about playing in the NHL. All right, thank you so much, Sherry. You can find a link to this segment and more information on our website at wxyz.com under the scene on 7 section. Thanks, Sherry.